All right, welcome back to Debrek. And you are at the point of discussing um, the report that, I mean, the finding or the report, yes, actually the ruling that should come from the Speaker of the National Assembly in as far as the recommendation by PAC for removal of IABC commissioners. Uh, so, um, as we expect for the ruling, what then should happen to IABC? And still, I'm yet to get that, find, uh, th th that response on if IABC commissioners have taken action against their chief executive officer, can you still punish them? for the same mistake? And how do you prove culpability? OK, first of all, um, I, I wanted to say this of the ruling of the speaker. I was initially persuaded by the arguments of the chair of PAC, supported very strongly by Otiende Amolo. Otiende Amolo and the chair of PAC based their argument on the fact that, uh, in general, the parliament is constituted to be able to resolve issues of the public, meaning then that you cannot limit what they can do in terms of recommendations, mm -hmm. including saying they want to do a removal. Mm -hmm. There were arguments that were brought in terms of what is the purview or the extent of uh, PAC, what can PAC do and not do, mm -hmm. other than looking at the reports of the Auditor General, can they go a step further and say that we are recommending uh, removal. The turning point on this for me was the argument by Peter Kaluma, which is what persuaded me, mm -hmm. and it is in two articles. One is in Article 251, which says that the procedure for removal is this, and the removal procedure begins by a petition. Mm -hmm. So the question is, can PAC and its report constitute a petition? Mm -hmm. And if that petition comes, again it says parliaments shall consider. So go back to Article 247, read together with the uh, Fair Administrative Actions Act, the rule against bias. Mm -hmm. If Parliament has already said that they recommend and we, 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 we recommend your removal, mm -hmm. then a petition will come. You already, already have made up your mind. You cannot now and fairly mm -hmm. sit over that petition. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what turned my mind to it. Initially, I was persuaded by the Otiende Amolo uh, Nini. The, the last point that I want to make here then is, I think off, off the cuff, Chris mentioned it, the issue of severability. Mm -hmm. If the speaker finds that that report to the extent of the, the, the recommendation for removal, do we throw out the entire report? I think no. The speaker must exercise then his discretion and say that the report contains what essentially is the role of PAC, mm -hmm. very good recommendations, okay. but on the issue of removal, let us severe yes. it, so amend and remove that part and proceed mm -hmm. with the other part of what the report. What you're saying that yeah. adapting the report as a way of removing the commissioners is unconstitutional. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. To the extent that the very same parliament will have to sit over a petition. Remove, mm -hmm. Remember, mm -hmm. that recommendation of PAC will not remove them. You must follow 251, mm. a petition filed. Okay. That petition goes to PAC and then Parliament considers it. Mm. Parliament would already have pronounced itself saying mm. we agree with PAC. It will be a conflict of interest. You cannot do that. Okay. Carol? But I think the Article 251 provides for a person, right? So are you even saying that we shall view PAC as a person? Because I think we're in agreement mm. that PAC, as we say in law, acted ultra vire, right? <coughs> I beg your pardon. Acted ultra vire which means it, it went beyond its uh, mandate, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You cannot, you, you're given certain powers, certain powers have been delegated to you. You have to constrain yourself to act within the ambit of those powers. So now when they go a step ahead and recommend uh, the removal from office, uh, to that extent, that report is invalid mm -hmm. because removal from office is very categorical in the Constitution. Article 251, mm -hmm. a person shall bring a petition. After bringing a petition, um, Parliament shall uh, consider it okay. and then a make a point, <laughs> <laughs> point of order. Point of order. Yes, no point of order. Takes precedence. <laughs> no, my, 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 my friend Mwangi here, I want her to know mm -hmm. that uh, plenary has veto powers over the parliamentary report. Mm -hmm. And when a report is passed, mm -hmm. it can be passed the way it is or it can be passed in another amended form. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what Parliament is likely to do is to amend that unconstitutional it's part right. and maybe pass it. Because okay. uh, there are also yes. good recommendations actually from I, I agree with that. Yeah. The, the, the part that is good, the part that is not ultra mm -hmm. by all means, it should remain. But any bit that is ultra cannot yes. remain. It shall mm -hmm. be challenged as unconstitutional. Okay.